Hi guys, um, this is my tutorial on how to um, make a background um, for your uh, transformations and um, in Artweaver and uh, well yeah uh, I'll put a download link in the description afterwards if I can find one um, and anyway um, just um, open a new file you can do it with Control N too. I'll call it background five because I already made some not four or I think and um, just click OK and I have 480 uh, by 360 but you can do your own um, your own size um, well first of all you can pick a color I'll pick pink here this is here we got my pink and just fill it up with pink and then you can um, do the other way around again and you just select the lasso tool and um, just you have to find it it's the second one from the left above if you know what I mean and you can pick this and you have here some ones and here you can have a round that's just popping out you know you can make it as big as you want and you can do it like this and then you got it and then you can make um, you should make uh, more of these you can it's uh, more beautiful. Up. I'm sorry. Um. Still my cold, as I told you in my last video. And oh, and you got a little face. Like that. Oh, <sighs> that's ready. Then you can use um, artists here, but the paint pressures you have artists, uh, and there you have fairy dust, and that's a really cool one because it's making yeah fairy dust, and fairy dust is like this. So yeah, if you put this around your background, some just click every time you're on a spot you want one and then you're getting this yep. yeah and that's the cool thing about art weaver it's um really big and it's free well not big but I mean this the file is small uh, not really big in any way and but you have lots of uh, paint brushes and and effects and yeah like this and I won't do that this time but yeah um, you can just save it as big background yeah uh, I've got background four. and PNG I always save PNG <gasps> yeah that's actually the way you do it and that was part one of this tutorial